Um, also things, there's some sneaky things. Insurance premium tax, that always seems to change, but nobody seems to notice it. What's that about? Well, that actually um, generates more income for the government than that was inheritance tax. That was worth zoom in right. past, wasn't it? And yeah. it's gradually increased from 6% up to 12%. And it, it's, it's on your buildings and contents insurance, it's on your ah, car insurance and various other insurance funny. policies and it's a, that you have to have, that you have to have. Um, I mean the government believe that, you know, it's the insurance companies so that are like, paying it and they can no. choose not to pass it on, but um, invariably it does get it's passed very impatient. So that's a huge revenue spin, so they could increase in insurance premium tax again, maybe. Uh, airline tax, I remember when that changed, Learn I booked a flight fairly recently, oh, and you see thing? how much you're paying in tax just to book an airline. That's a sneaky one that seemed to go under the radar for a oh, lot so of people. It's the same lady so then. keep your wits about yeah. you, I think is what we're saying here. I thought here. that one was and, in the uh, it'd be interesting Range to see what happens on Monday in the yeah. Chancellor's budget. A big thanks to Doug Bennett from DB Fox in Crawley. And also the two guests that we had on earlier, <laughs> Gingerbread and from Creasy's Accountants. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on the air. Point seven to 104.2 FM DAB online and Freeview Channel 719. This is BBC Radio Kent. Yeah, Gupta. <laughs> BMW. BBC News at 10. I'm Moira Alderson. It's emerged the government will urge ferry and freight companies to plan alternative routes for medicines and vital supplies should a no-deal Brexit threaten to delay shipments. The plan's been presented to a cabinet meeting in Downing Street. A senior government source has denied that ministers are looking at plans to buy or charter vessels to keep the NHS working. The world's richest countries, which make up the G7 group, no. have demanded Saudi Arabia give a full account of how the Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi was murdered in the kingdom's consulate in Istanbul. President Erdogan of Turkey says he was the victim of a carefully planned political murder. James Landale reports. The foreign ministers of Britain, the US, Canada, France, Germany, Italy and Japan were clear. In a joint statement, they condemned the killing of Mr Khashoggi in the strongest possible terms. They said the Saudi explanation left many questions unanswered. They called for a credible, what transparent, the prompt investigation oh, and a full account of how the journalist died. Is. They said those responsible must be held to account. But Saudi Arabia has put measures in place to ensure something like this could never happen again. The parents of a girl who died after suffering an allergic reaction to a pret a manger baguette have said stricter labelling rules could be in place by next summer. The family of Natasha Etnan Laparouz have met Isn't with the environmental.